morning. Um, oh, I just changed the camera angle a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who um, emailed me or text me um, with encouragements about the daily devotional, either um, what's spoken to them or how God's helped them, um, or just to encourage me. Um, it really does mean a lot because I don't know how many days we've been doing this now, maybe 130 odd, maybe. Um, and it's been a journey, you know, we started in Psalm 91 when the pandemic was really taking off and I felt like that devotional really grounded us in God's protection and helped us um, grow our faith in the area of trusting God for protection and now looking at the power of right believing, how changing our, what we believe, taking um, rather um, taking away the negative thoughts and replacing them with the truth of God's word is is transforming our lives from the inside out and I just think actually though the pandemic is awful it's also been this lovely opportunity for us to to take this daily study that we wouldn't have done otherwise um, and I feel humbled to be able to have brought this to you and with you this this has been a journey for myself too so anyway, I'm rambling, but I just wanted to thank you, basically. Um, today we are reading Supernatural Transformation. Beautiful. Reading 1 Samuel 17, verse 4 to 5. And it says, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. That's lovely, isn't it? It's just a funny camera angle. Sorry today. Um... Christ's occupation makes you bold, but not superior, humble, but not inferior. Isn't that lovely? Bold, but not superior, humble, but not inferior. When our minds are occupied with Jesus, we don't have to try to be humble. In the presence of the servant king, our hearts become supernaturally transformed, and we will carry his servant heart. Lovely. In other words, when you hang out with Jesus, all that he is will rub off on you. I need that in my life. Isn't that lovely? We don't have to go around being all humble. Actually, when we spend time with Jesus, his servant heart will rub off on us. Your thoughts and your words will be full of the fragrance of his sweet presence and grace. All your inferiority and insecurities will melt away in his marvellous love for you. It takes people who are truly secure in Christ to be able to bow down and serve others with genuine humility. Similarly, when you are courageous and bold in Christ and in his love for you, it doesn't manifest as fleshly pride and arrogance but rather as complete dependency on Almighty God. Think of how young David charged down the valley of Elah, Elah sorry, and challenged the giant Goliath, while the rest of the well-trained and full-grown men of the army of Israel cowered in fear. Was that simply a display of youthful bravado or a genuine dependency on God? To the untrained eye, David could have appeared like an imp impudent little brat. Well, we know where this steely chutzpah, I don't know what that is, um, comes from when these bold words of a mere teenager resonated throughout the valley. You come to me with a sword, with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. 1 Samuel 17, 4 to 5. From his words, we can tell that young David was clearly occupied with the Lord of hosts and not with himself or his abilities. Sometimes I find myself in the trap where I, I'm facing something big and I'm trusting God that he'll help me get through it. And then when I come to face it, I depend on my own ability to do it. Does that make sense? So I know that God is with me and I know that I can face it because God is with me and then I go through it, but I go through it in my own strength. I can get through this, I will get through this, I can do this, I can do this. Actually I start with Christ and I end with self. 
But actually what David did here was he started with, with God and he ends with God. He goes through it with God rather than his own ability. So he trusted God for his protection, God's protection. But he didn't rely then on his own ability with the slingshot. He still trusted God to get him through it. And I think I can learn personally a lesson from this. Is that yes, God is with me. And yes, he empowers me, but I need to keep on relying on God through it, not go back to depending on myself, even though I'm trusting in God to protect me. Not sure if that makes sense to you, made sense to me in my head. When your thoughts are occupied with the Lord, you become a giant slayer. There are giants, in, are there giants in your life today that need to be slain? Like young David, occupy your mind with the Lord and God will fill you with the courage and audacity to overcome all your adversities. Listen to the words of David in Psalm 18 verse 29. He says, For by you I can run against a troop. By my God I can leap over a wall. Let these words of faith and boldness be established in your heart. With God on your side, nothing is impossible. I was thinking that just today, actually, some things with man, they are impossible. But I love how God tells us that with him, nothing is impossible. And that's that living by faith and not by sight. Because so easily we can just go, that's impossible. But actually, God tells us nothing is impossible with him. And when we put our trust in him and our confidence in him, we will see him move in ways we can we can't even imagine. So I encourage you today, whatever giants you're facing today, know that God is with you and know that God will take you through. God will slay that giant with you. You don't have to do it on your own. God will protect you and God will work through you. So our thought today, when my thoughts are occupied with the Lord, I become a giant slayer. And our prayer, Father, help me to keep my mind and heart focused on Jesus. I want my thoughts and my words to be filled with the fragrance of his sweet presence and grace in my life. Like David, I declare that by you I can run against a troop, and by you I can leap over a wall. I believe that you are giving me the courage and audacity to overcome all adversities in my life. With you on my side, all things are possible. In Jesus name amen and I was thinking to for tomorrow just as I was reading today it came into my head let's take communion tomorrow morning during this um, devotional I'm going to be reading your answer is found in a person and I think it would be so good if we just get communion elements ready um, before you watch the devotional whatever time of day it may be and let's take communion to, together tomorrow, lifting up Jesus together. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Um, have a great day. Bye.